Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can access the secondary router that has DHCP disabled. So here, as you can see, we are accessing both the secondary and primary routers. Let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Let me quickly show you my current connection. I have these two routers. This is my secondary router and this is from my primary router. And I'm currently connected to this secondary router. If I go to its properties, you can see the IPv4. This is the one that can give me access to the router. Let me quickly copy this IP address and paste it on the browser. I can currently access this router. However, this is my primary router for this connection. This connection actually uses a TP-Link router. Normally, to access this router, I go to 192.168.0.1. You can see this does not work. Anyway, now to access the secondary router, first make sure you are connected to this router. Then go to the start menu and type control panel. Go to network and internet. Go to network and share. You will see the Wi-Fi connection here. Click on it and click on properties. Then choose internal protocol version 4 that is IPv4. Double click on it and click on to use the following IP. Now input any IP address that your router will allow. The subnet marks is this one and on the default gateway, make sure to use the same IP by which you could access your router earlier. This must be the same address or you can also Google to find the IP address to access your router. Anyway, let me add it here. For this IP address, all these will be the same. And you can change this number as per your router. So it is done. Click on OK and OK. Sometimes the internet may be lost with these settings. Anyway, you can see now this works all good. Even if I try to open in another browser, this works all good. If I refresh the earlier IP, this does not work. Let me log in to the secondary router. So we are in. If I go to DHPC, you can see it is disabled here. Also we need the IP address in this range and the same default gateway. And I am connected to this secondary router. Now sometimes this method also does not work. Let me give you an example. Go to the working mode. And I will use this router as the access point and will save this. And OK. The router will restart. So the router has restarted. Let me close this. Here is the Wi Fi. Let me connect it. So this is connected. If I go to its properties, let's see if this IPv4 address works to access the router or not. Let me copy it and open it. So this does not work. Let me go back to our earlier settings. Go to properties and on IPv4. Let me try to obtain the IP address and click OK. Now the internet seems to work. But I cannot access the secondary router with the same IP address. As you can see, it, it is not working. If I go to the connection and check its properties, here is the IPv4. Let me try to open this one. So this again takes me to the primary router page. Let's try changing the IPv4. Go to control panel network and internet. 
Network and Sharing Center, click on Wi-Fi name, go to Properties, IPv4, and use the same thing as we did earlier. And OK. So the internet is gone, and this IP also does not work. Let me check the connection. Oh, it was disconnected. Let me reconnect it. So this is connected. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works or not too. So this is not working. And as well, this does not seem to work. To access the secondary router, let me first restore back the IP address. And choose to obtain an IP address automatically. This is connected and the internet is working back again. Let me quickly go to properties. Let's try opening the primary router. So it takes me to the primary router. Simply log in to access the primary router dashboard. Again a reminder. This is our primary router through a secondary router connection. Then simply click on DHCP information or find out all the connection connected with the primary router. Let me click on it. Now find the MAC address of your secondary router. The MAC address is usually on the back side of your router. Let me switch to the image. So as you can see, this is the back side of the router. And here is the MAC address. Now find the same MAC address on the DHCP list. Now find the same MAC address on the list. You can see this IP address is assigned for this MAC address. So let me try to open this address. So this now seems to work. As you can see, this is my secondary router used as the access point with this SSID. And this is my primary router, which can also be accessed easily with the same connection. So this is how you can open primary and secondary routers despite the DHCP being disabled. You can do the same using the Ethernet cable too, though we did it only using the Wi-Fi connection. Anyway, we hope this video was useful to you. Thank you very much.